Okay, so you'll have to excuse my nails if they look a little bit stained. I'm a genius and wore the dark red Pacifica polish that came in my glam bag with no base coat. So on my pointer finger, I'm going to have China Glaze Liquid Leather. Almost opaque on one coat, but I have a couple um, slightly lighter patchy spots, so I'll do two coats for that one. On my middle finger, I'm going to have Essie's Licorice. Looks like it's pretty good on one coat. I think I'm going to do two coats on all of them, just for good measure, because black almost always covers on one coat, and so I'm just gonna fix my own little bald spot on the China Glaze one, but I think I'm gonna do two coats on all of them to try to make it a little bit more even. I'll do the same amount of coats. So we're gonna do OPI's Black Onyx on my ring finger. This one's a little bit thinner, a little bit more watery, so that one will definitely need two coats. And then on my pinky finger, I'm using Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Blackout. This one I already know is a one-coater. Part of that is because I've been using this bottle for a little while, so it's thickened up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and then I'm going to do my second coat. I'm going to do two coats on all of my nails, and then I will come back when they start to chip. Okay, so it is... Friday evening. Um, I've painted these on on Sunday evening, so they've lasted a good five, six days, uh, which is absolutely incredible. And I notice that a lot when I do these tests and I don't wear a base and top coat, which I think is really weird. But at the same time, I mean, it gets really dull too because I don't have a base and top coat on, so it's kind of a trade-off. But uh, I will just go ahead and go through these one nail at a time. So if you recall on my pointer finger, I was wearing China Glaze Liquid Leather. This one actually um, was the third of the four to chip on me. Um, I used two coats and I just have a slight bit of tip wear and then I also have this one chip in the middle which didn't happen until today. So. This actually wore really, really well. The next one that I have is the Essie. Now this one, um, and the Sally Hansen one, which I will get to, I actually had slight chipping and tip wear on both of those when I got out of the shower Sunday night. So they did not even last, jeez, oh, four hours. Um, and they were both chipped and had some tip wear on it. That being said, they didn't chip too much worse than that. Um, over the course of the five days. So that kind of sucked. Um, and you have to excuse, I have sheet marks on all of these because I did take a nap right after I, <laughs> right after I painted these on and I ended up with sheet marks. But um, yeah, so they both chipped from the shower, but like I said, it was very minimal and they didn't chip too much worse than that. This one, um, the Essie, was the first that I noticed um, the major like disruptive chipping like I have around here and then it's also what I wore on this hand the entire week. This is my dominant hand so it took a little bit more abuse um, and this is also Essie's um, licorice. And I also wore two coats of this one as well with no base or top coat. So the next one that I have is the OPI. This one is the only one that needed two coats. So all of the other ones, the other three, I could have gotten away with one coat, but I did two just to have the same number of coats on all of my nails. But this one, which is OPI's Black Onyx, was sheer on one coat. It was the only one that really required two coats to be completely opaque. That being said, um, there's barely any chipping, and the only thing I've got here is tip wear. And it's been five days, six days really. So that's really good. <laughs> that's really, really good. Um, and most polishes are going to do two coats anyway, so it's not like it took three or four, you know. So this one actually, yeah, did really, really well. 
The last one that I have here is the Sally Hansen. Um, this was the second to start chipping on me and, well, I mean second to start chipping very badly. This one also I had some chips when I got out of the shower the night that I did this. So, I mean there was chipping within like four hours, but just like the SE, it didn't get too much worse. It was technically like first slash second to chip because they both chipped pretty much at the same time, but it didn't get too much worse. Um, this last giant chip I did end up getting today as well. Um, I am going to go with OPI as my pick for the best out of this set. It is the only one that really needed the two coats, but um, it also has been five days of wear, six days of wear, whatever, however you want to count that, and it has not tipped on me. I have tip wear, which is to be expected, um, especially since they didn't wrap the tips on these, and so that's really, really good. So I'm just going to take completely disregard the amount of coats compared to the other ones, and this is the only one that has not chipped on me. Second place, um, I'm going to go with uh, China Glaze Liquid Leather. Um, OPI was Black Onyx, if I didn't say that. China Glaze Liquid Leather. This one did just chip on me today, and um, it was pretty much opaque in one coat. I did do two just to even the playing field, but it didn't chip on me until today, and there was very minimal tip wear, and the chip is also very small. Um, the last two, I don't know how to put these together. I'm going to tie the Essie and the Sally Hansen. Um, I got tip wear from both of them within four hours from taking a shower, and then I had very minimal chipping until today on these two. They pretty much performed the exact same way for me. Um, they were both almost completely opaque in one coat. Actually, you could easily get away with one coat. I just did two for good measure. So, like I said, they both performed the exact same way. They lasted about the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and tie those two. I mean, so if you end up picking one of those, it's pretty much a given to get the Sally Hansen one because it's so much cheaper than the Essie. That being said, I do have the older version of Sally Hansen and I know people said that they reformulated the white. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but they might have redone the black as well, you never know. Um, so there is that. And that was um, Sally Hansen's Blackout and Essie's Licorice also. So there you go. That is my comparison and wear test of the black nail polishes or the battle of black nail polishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later.